Well, this weekend, fireworks will light up the sky for 4th of July celebrations, but one East Tennessee woman will be watching, well, from afar after a fireworks accident left her with an injury that took months to heal. WAT6 on your side, reporter Jordan Brown shares her message, encouraging others now to be safe when handling fireworks this weekend. Jordan. Yeah, Bo, the woman I talked to says she's proceeding with caution. Around this time last year, her 4th of July celebrations ended up with her in the hospital. This year, she's all about safety, sharing her story in hopes that others will use extreme caution so they don't get injured like she did. We all know fireworks can be dangerous. We love them and we want to watch them, but we don't need them in our hands. And Lamanda Evans has the scar to prove it. It was like fire. It was like someone had just caught me on fire. This mark is a year old now. My scars still hurt. Uh, they're tender to touch. It's still a painful memory of a fun night gone horribly wrong. And he lit the fuse and it went to the firework. It fell over and when it exploded, it exploded on my side and then it burst into the different flames and my whole right side uh, burnt to my hip area and um, I got third degree burns. Lamanda is just one of over 15,000 people across the country who were treated for fireworks related injuries last year. But most people don't realize that even your simpler sparklers can burn up to 2000 degrees. Uh, so obviously you gotta be uh, safe with them. LAMANDA IS SHARING HER STORY AS A WARNING TO OTHERS SO THAT THEIR CELEBRATIONS END ON A HIGH NOTE AND NOT IN A HOSPITAL BED. IT'S DANGEROUS. I'M 43 YEARS OLD AND I JUST, I NEVER IMAGINED THAT. SHE'S STILL PLANNING TO ENJOY FIREWORKS THIS YEAR, BUT FROM A DISTANCE. AND JUST A REMINDER, FIREWORKS ARE ILLEGAL IN THE KNOXVILLE CITY LIMITS UNLESS YOU HAVE A PERMIT. Bo.